So guys, new patch notes 5.05. We get savage today, but that's not the only big thing with this patch. We also get a ton of job changes. Now, full disclosure, I've <laughs> I've already seen the job changes, and uh, let's just say that for monk, they're doing very well for themselves right now. Anyway, let's just get started. So for monk. The three forms got buffed to 15 seconds, which is nice because uh, every other job in the game had their combo extended, except for Monk. So this basically puts them in line with the other jobs in the game that uses a combo system. Mantra got buffed to 15 yards, which basically makes it about as big, no, just as big as Brotherhood in terms of range. This should have happened like I don't know, like since a rumble born or something. <laughs> it's way too long, but it's here now. Now we're gonna get to the really good stuff. Form shift. The Corel form bonus extends grease lightning duration to maximum has been added. I can't stress enough how huge this change is. It's massive. Like as soon as you get to level 52, you really should never drop your stacks in any situation, especially in dungeons. You can literally keep your stacks forever now. You have a tank in the dungeon that takes like two years to pull the boss, no problem. Just keep on form shifting, you keep on refreshing the timer. Easy. But I've seen some confusion floating around already. Form shift does not give you increase the lightning stacks like a Nataman does. It just refreshes the timer. So if you increase lightning 2 and you use form shift to Corel form, all it's going to do is just refresh the timer to 16 seconds. And that's it. It's not going to give you stacks. So that's confusion over. Meditation. Open soul 5 chakra when used outside of combat. <laughs> this is really nice quality of life because Pressing the button five times just to prep before a pull. Not only is the time consuming, it's kind of pointless and it's also kind of long too. But now you just press it once, boop, that's it, five chakra. Now you can start form shifting to get ready for the battle. Easy. I like it. <laughs> Riddle of Earth. <laughs> oh my god. This is so ridiculous. Earth's reply bonus now nullifies all action direction requirements. This basically means that you have access to a 30 second true north every 60 seconds. Granted, you have to take damage first, but if you know the fight well, there's always a scenario where you can activate Riddle of Earth before a very movement intensive phase. Let's say for example, Eden Normal, Eden Prime, the phase before Eden Prime starts shooting all those line AoEs everywhere, you take AoE damage before that. So you can activate Riddle of Earth, get 30 seconds of True North throughout the entire phase, and you're Gucci, right? You also still have True North uh, on its own as well, with the two uh, charges. <laughs> so at this point, why do positionals even exist? Like. It's ridiculous. You have so much true north essentially. It's it's insane. Like this change is great. It also makes soloing actually really good because when you're attacking an enemy by yourself, you can activate Root of Earth and get all your positionals off for 30 seconds. It's pretty it's pretty sick. Another huge one. <laughs> Riddle of Fire. Increases weapon skill recast time by 15% has been removed. That's huge. <laughs> That's massive. Like, there are so many people who hated the slowdown of Riddle of Fire. Like, if there's one complaint everyone would say about Monk, oh, Riddle of Fire makes the job too slow. It sucks. It's gone. It's gone. They did nerf the damage to 25%, however. But I don't know the real numbers. I don't know the calculations. But it seems to be looking like. It is a DPS gain, this change, because 
yes you lose five, you lose five percent of your damage but you do end up gaining about two to three extra gcds because now there's no slowdown so it seems to be a dps gain which is pretty insane because riddle of fire is already a ridiculously strong buff however for high play this might be a problem because you always ideally want to enter riddle of fire i mean you always want to use demolish after you activate riddle of fire that should be your first gcd in riddle of fire and you're lost in an optimal scenario the slowdown did help with lining up everything but now that the slowdown is gone i don't know how it's gonna work out there may be problems where you are about to refresh demolish but it's not up yet because you're going too fast well we shall see i mean <laughs> servers are not up yet at the time of making this video so i'll have to find some time to actually hit the dummy and try it out and see how it works but yeah really nice change red low fire flat 25 percent damage nothing else crazy and the other two forbidden chakra and enlightenment can only be executed while in combat has been added i mean <laughs> You could only really use it in combat anyway so that doesn't really do anything and yeah that's it for monk monk is uh monk is looking really good right now like they were already pretty good granted there are still some changes i would like to see such as and that man still needs to be fixed i still don't want to keep on using trigonometry in 5.1 just to use an man optimally it's pretty stupid six-sided star I'd still think it should be a GCD, I mean an off global, off global cooldown, sorry. And uh, what else, yes, Chakra, Crit Reliance, I still think that's a problem. It would have been nice if they brought back, uh, what do you call it, internal release, but whatever. I guess once we get more gear, Crit shouldn't be as much of a problem as it is now because we'll be swimming in like 4k crit or something by best of slot so yeah that's it for mock buffs uh i do play the other melee though sometimes like i am mainly a monk main though but i'm not gonna talk about the other melee buffs because <laughs> i don't really play them enough for me to really go in depth all i know is that just from looking at this list ninja got cocked that's it <laughs> Ninja got cocked so hard. I mean, my ninja is still 70, but even I know that I don't have to get my ninja to 70 to know that just a 50 potency buff to gut slash is enough. Right? It sucks. Apologies to all the ninjas out there. Yeah, that's that's all I got. As for samurai, samurai my samurai is still level 76, so I'm not really gonna go over any of these buffs samurai mains you can look at it yourself and you can determine whether it's good enough or not also hakagure came back yeah right there it's different from the hakagure we know back in stormblood though so better in mind and also good for scholars i guess they've all been crying about energy train not being there it's here now i think it's different as well but yeah Hooray for them. Anyways, I'm done. Hopefully Savage is good. Hopefully these changes will make some people happy. <laughs> some people are definitely not going to be happy though. But I am. I sure as hell am happy. Anyway, I'm done. See ya.